Hey guys, Anthony DiClemente with The Health Blueprint, and in today's video, I'm going to share the six causes of hormonal imbalance and what you can do to fix them. Many of my clients are women between the ages of 30 and 60, and they come to us dealing with hormone-related issues. And the key is for us to first identify what is the root cause of those hormonal challenges that they're facing, and then put together a lifestyle program and a diet that is going to help correct those challenges. Now, just to clarify, this is different than the hormonal changes that occur with menopause and change of life. Now, those are inevitable to a certain degree, and we do help some women with bioidentical hormone replacement therapy and making recommendations when that makes sense, but that is an individual decision and something that you want to discuss with your healthcare practitioner or um, consultant or coach if, if we're working together. Um, now, these are six of the lifestyle-related factors that can cause hormone imbalance. So we're gonna go into each one and then I'll discuss it in a little bit more detail and we'll suggest some specific changes that you can make in order to correct these and get your hormones back into balance. Sound good? All right, awesome. Uh, so the first cause of hormone imbalance is gut dysbiosis or um, gut issues. And if I sound like a broken record, that's because the gut plays a key role in so many different health and metabolic related challenges that we face. The gut microbiome, if there is an imbalance in bad bacteria proportionate to good bacteria, if we have bacteria, fungi, parasites, viruses, those things can cause a host of health issues ranging from leaky gut, intestinal permeability, um, to just endotoxins that are produced by these bacteria and cause inflammation in the body, and that can cause uh, hormonal resistance, it, whether that's leptin, insulin, cortisol, any of the other hormone systems can be affected just by our gut being out of balance. So the key here is to first start by taking steps to heal your gut. And that can be a complicated process. Um, for some clients, we utilize herbal antimicrobials and natural botanicals. For others, we use protocols that involve uh, non-absorbed antibiotics and uh, antifungals. Just a short course of that treatment can sometimes correct these issues pretty quickly. Um, but the gut is complicated and there's a lot of moving pieces. So you wanna make sure that that's something that you do with a, a health expert and a qualified healthcare practitioner. Um, the second cause is cortisol dysregulation, or also known as adrenal fatigue. Now, the, the HPA axis, the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, um, the, the hypothalamus and the pituitary control and produce most of our body's hormones. And with modern living, sleeping too little, chronic stress, uh, modern foods and processed refined carbohydrates, a lot of our reliance on caffeine and Starbucks in order to push our bodies beyond what their natural energy levels are capable of doing, all of these things can cause cortisol dysregulation or cortisol dysfunction. And when there is a, an imbalance, a sustained long-term imbalance in the HPA axis, all of these are the same thing, HPA axis dysregulation, uh, cortisol dysfunction, adrenal fatigue, all synonymous terms. When there is a long-term imbalance, where we're not sleeping enough for extended periods of time, where we're under chronic stress and we're not, we're not um, mitigating that stress with lifestyle choices, when we're relying on caffeine and stimulants and Adderall and things like that, uh, Ritalin, to push ourselves beyond what our body's natural energy production is capable of doing, all of these things can lead to imbalances. Now, our, the, the, the cortisol rhythm uh, fluctuates with the wake and sleep cycle. And when we have sleep cycles that are irregular, meaning we're not consistent with the time we go to bed and the time we wake up, or we're staying up too late and we're sleeping too late, um, we see this a lot with night shift workers as well, it's very common to experience cortisol dysfunction. And that can affect all of the other body's hormone systems. Um, so it's very important to make sure that we are getting our cortisol regulated and in check in order to maintain happy and healthy hormones. Uh, the fourth cause is liver detoxification. So the liver is the body's primary detoxification organ. And if your liver's ability to detoxify is compromised, and that could be from 
these endotoxins uh, in the gut that we mentioned earlier. It could be from just over accumulation of toxins from the air we breathe, the food we eat, the water we drink, um, our environment, whatever it may be, if we are accumulating toxins at a rate that exceeds our body's ability to eliminate those toxins, we get what we call bioaccumulation of toxins. And that increased stress on the liver also affects our hormone systems. So as you can see, there's an interrelationship between all of these different systems of the body. And when one is out of balance, it tends to affect all of the others. So it's important to maintain healthy liver detoxification and address some of the genetic predispositions that could make it more difficult for you to eliminate toxins, which we'll cover in just a second. Um, so that brings us to cause number five, which is um, methylation problems. Now, there is a common genetic polymorphism or single nucleotide polymorphism, which is just a fancy term for a genetic variance. So, 30 to 50% of the population has a gene called MTHFR. It stands for methyl tetrahydrofolate. And what MTHFR does is it codes for the uh, conversion of B vitamins to their bioactive forms. And individuals that have this genetic polymorphism have a difficult time converting B vitamins to their bioactive forms. And typically, as a result, have lower levels of vitamin B12, vitamin B6, vitamin B2, um, even vitamin B3, niacin. So what is important for individuals that have this genetic variation is to make sure that you are supplementing with adequate forms of the bioactive B vitamins. And um, so that's B6 in uh, P5P form, pyridoxal 5-phosphate. That's B12, either in methylcobalamin form or hydroxycobalamin form. Uh, we often see a, an interrelationship too between um, in poor digestion and the MTHFR genetic variation. So a lot of the oral forms of B12 are inadequately absorbed. So you wanna go with either a sublingual or even better, uh, an injection. You just want to make sure that the, you're, you're using the correct form for your genes. And that's something you know we help our clients with when, when uh, warranted. Um, so methylation, to get back to that, is a process that occurs billions of times a second in the body. And it is, an integral part of detoxification and um, energy production. When individuals, whether they have the MTHFR genetic variant or they just have compromised methylation, which is not always due to, um, to these single nucleotide polymorphisms, they, that can lead to hormonal imbalances. So impaired methylation can then affect our body's ability to produce hormones at adequate levels and the coinciding domino effect occurs. Um, and the sixth cause is fatty acid imbalance. So in our modern diet, we consume far too many omega-6 fats in proportion to omega-3 fats. So omega-3 fats are the type of healthy fats that you get from wild-caught cold water fish, um, so wild-caught salmon. It's the type of fat that is in um, many of the high-quality fish oil supplements, or as I recommend to, um, to many clients as a foundational supplement, um, extra virgin cod liver oil. Um, which sounds gross, and yeah, it, it tastes pretty gross as well, but it's great for you. And um, it's very important for us to moderate our ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids because that too plays a critical role in hormone production and inflammation in the body. If we consume too many omega-6 fats, which you'll, you'll find in vegetable oils, people that eat out at restaurants a lot struggle with this. Even if you're ordering the healthiest food at restaurants, let's say you're ordering chicken and broccoli. Oftentimes, not only are you dealing with lower quality food, so you're dealing with chickens that were raised in factory farms, um, but they're also cooked in these inflammatory vegetable oils because they are inexpensive. So for example, canola oil, which is rampant in our food supply is over 80% of canola oil is genetically modified, meaning it's been artificially engineered in a laboratory. And there's numerous studies linking GMOs to cancer, uh, diabetes, heart disease, and obesity. But beyond that, 
Canola oil, even if it's organic, is highly inflammatory. So it's important to try to get the highest quality food that you can and prepare those meals yourself as much as possible so that you know what's in your food. Because if you eat out at restaurants a lot, even if you're eating as healthy as you possibly can, unless you know what oils they're using and what's in the different dressings and sauces and where the food was sourced from, it's very, very difficult to get your body the nutrients that it needs. So to recap real quick, the six cause of hormonal imbalance and then I will go over some ways that we can fix them the six causes gut dysbiosis so gut issues cortisol dysfunction cortisol dysregulation adrenal fatigue all of those meaning the same thing um, what was number three oh, yeah. insulin resistance or high blood sugar which is which often uh, correlate with one another liver detoxification methylation issues and fatty acid imbalance. So now that you know the six causes of hormone imbalance, what can you do about it? So some big picture things. With all of our clients, I first look at the hormonal systems. We do some simple diagnostic testing before we even start the coaching program that identifies what which of these challenges you may be experiencing. And then from there, I customize your program to make sure that we are addressing that via your nutrition, your physical activity, your stress management, your sleep, and your supplement protocol. But what can you do if you don't go through that process and we're not yet working together? I'm not your coach. Well. What you can do is you can start by correcting some of the things that we know are probably off. 50 years ago, people averaged about eight hours of sleep a night. Today, that number is as low as six. So we're getting two hours less sleep per night. And a lot of that is the demands of our career, our family, um, our modern lifestyle, which is we have, we're constantly stimulated. We have electronics on at all hours of the day. We've got our cell phones, televisions, computers, etc. So making sure to get seven, eight, even nine hours of sleep, if that's what your body needs, is a good first step. Managing your stress is very important. So many of us are under, under chronic stress with our careers and our lifestyles. We don't take time to slow down and just relax. Um, some of my favorite tools that I recommend to clients for for stress management are uh, the Headspace application. I usually start clients out with the 10 and 10, which is just 10 minutes a day for 10 days. You put in headphones, you use the application, and it guides you through a, a relaxation process that's really powerful, helps the body slow down, and many clients notice that just doing this for a few days, they'll experience dramatic improvements in their stress levels. So the Headspace application is great. Um, some other good resources, uh, Holosync, has um, there's uh, the company Centerpoint makes a product called Holosync that is really good and it uses brainwave frequencies to actually they found that the human brain picks up on sound frequencies and actually tunes into those frequencies and if those frequencies are slowed down and in, in, in alpha or even theta theta waves the brain synchronizes with those and you're able to reach a meditative state much faster. So Holosync is a, a product that utilizes that brainwave technology. Um, Kelly Howell has a bunch of fantastic meditation and guided relaxation audios. Um, and just recently, one of my clients went to a biohacking event in Chicago and he was introduced to a product called Brain FM. Um, so he recommended that I check it out. I tried, it's just brain.fm and it's all web-based. I did a meditation with them yesterday. It was like 18 minutes and I felt amazing afterwards. Very relaxed, very calm, a noticeable change in my stress levels. So that is another resource that uh, you guys can utilize. Um, and then a an anti-inflammatory whole food plant-based diet is another great tool for improving your ho hormonal health. Um, and that is focusing, you know, eat real food, Eat food that doesn't come with a nutrition label, where the ingredient in the food is the food itself. And um, so eat real food, not too much, mostly plants. Make sure that those plants are mostly vegetables, especially if you're dealing with high blood sugar or um, insulin resistance. And that will be a good base for getting your hormones back on track. Oh, and of course, exercise, physical activity getting your body up and moving the way that it was created to move. Uh, for many people, just getting up and trying to get yourself within your target heart rate early in the day 
getting outside, getting exposed to the sun can have a monumental impact on your hormonal health. So um, I, I help clients calculate where their target heart rate is for their workouts. And even if you get up so early that you're getting outside and the sun's not out yet, that's okay. Just do it. Just get out and move your body because physical activity and exercise helps facilitate the shuttling of sugar and carbohydrates into our muscle cells and our liver for use and storage for later use, and it improves our insulin sensitivity. So all of these things play an integral role. Your, your nutrition, your physical activity, your stress management, your sleep, and they all come together to help balance out the hormones. Now, the hormonal systems of the body. There are some supplements that can help with this, but you want to make sure that the supplements you're choosing are right for you. And the, the, the supplements that I utilize with clients depends largely on the cause of their hormonal imbalance. So someone's hormone imbalance that's caused by gut dysbiosis or a, an overgrowth of pathogenic organisms in the gut is going to be much different than someone whose hormone imbalance is caused by uh, fatty acid um, fatty acid imbalances, you know, too much omega-6 to omega-3 fats. Um, and, and the same with someone who's, um, who's dealing with adrenal fatigue. So, uh, you know, some supplements that we've utilized with clients to help with hormonal issues uh, range from uh, DIM Plus by Pure Encapsulations. It contains um, DIM, uh, which is a supplement that helps the um, helps to uh, metabolize estrogen, and um, it also contains uh, what else is in there? Um, milk thistle, which helps with liver detoxification, and uh, N-acetylcysteine. A number of other supplements that help improve the detoxification pathways in the liver and um, and balance out excess estrogen, which is something many of us face. Um, another supplement that is used sometimes, especially with females, is uh, Vitex Berry. Um, but again, before you go jumping into these supplements, you want to make sure that you're you're choosing supplements that um, that correlate with the root cause of your imbalance. And if that's something you would like help with, uh, I would encourage you to go to healthblueprintcoaching.com. Uh, we've got a video there where I talk a little bit about some of the work that we're doing with clients, some of the results that we've helped them to achieve, and um, and many of the case studies and testimonials of people like you who may be dealing with hormonal issues and and hormone related challenges and how we've corrected those and how that's helped them to uh, lose weight, increase their energy, and even eliminate pain in many cases. So I appreciate your patience and your time today. Hopefully you found today's video helpful and valuable. Uh, for more information, you can go to healthblueprintcoaching.com or you can send me a text message to my direct line, which is 847-989-3743. And just introduce yourself, let me know how I can best serve you. And I'd be happy to jump on the phone and have a conversation about uh, taking some next steps together in getting your health and energy and, um, and body where you want it. So thanks again for your time. I'm Anthony DiClemente and talk to you soon.